Good morning, everyone. It is December 23rd, 2018. I just wanted to do a quick video about an article that's been sent to me several times recently over the last few days from basically the Daily Mail, the Daily News. Um, I'm not seeing it on any big news channels um, like ABC, NBC, CBS, and I'm not hearing about it on my Facebook, which is where I'm mostly linked to, and, and Twitter as well where I'm linked to most of the world of HIV advocacy. So I'm a little skeptical, but I know that this is a process that they've been looking into for a cure. So it's not altogether um, off by any means, but I just don't know how reliable the information is just because I'm not seeing it on, you know, the big major networks. But anyways, I thought I should address it. So here's the article, it says AIDS cure major breakthrough as scientists succeed in destroying HIV infected cells. Teams at the Institut Pasteur in Paris announced on Thursday they had succeeded in their work to destroy cells infected with HIV. Their work published in the scientific journal called Cell Metabolism offers hope of a cure for AIDS patients. Up to now, there has been no cure for AIDS, but instead the disease has been treated by antiretrovirals. These drugs block the infection and have saved many lives since they were discovered in the 90s, but they do not eliminate HIV cells from the body. Oh my God. These articles are so full of spam that I, it's hard for me to even like scroll through them or it's my Wi-Fi, but I really am having so many pop-ups. That alone just kind of like makes me wonder about the article, but either way, here's the rest of it. Researchers noticed the virus didn't infect all the CD4 T cells, but didn't understand why. So in the study, they managed to identify the characteristics of CD4 T lymphocytes, which are most likely to be infected by the virus, allowing it to spread. Okay, so I guess it only wants specific CD4 cells. Experiments showed the higher the metabolic activity of the cell, the higher its glucose consumption, and the more likely it is to be infected with HIV. Interesting, I didn't know that. Scientists were able to block the activity of the lymphocytes, making them resistant to infection and eventually eliminating HIV. In the lab, lymphocytes have been able to block HIV infection. Okay, so this is different than the kick and kill method that I talked about where they actually wanna take out the particle that's laying dormant in the reservoir. This is actually, they're zoning in on the cells that are uh, that HIV is attracted to. So they're destroying the entire cell that HIV resides in. In the lab, lymphocytes have been able to block HIV infection. Institute Pasteur said in a statement, this work represents an important step toward the consideration of a possible remission through the elimination of reservoir cells. This is an interesting first step, but we are not at the stage where it can be applicable to humans in the near future, said Jean-Michel Molina, professor of infectious diseases at St. Louis Hospital in Paris. We need to continue research, and this publication is an additional hope, he went on. Basically, we're looking at hope right now, but he said the work was extremely important because it provides very interesting information about the reservoir cells of the virus that and people on tritherapy, which is what I'm taking, it's one pill with three drugs in one, tritherapy, persist despite the treatment. And that forces people to take the treatment throughout their lives. HIV and AIDS are estimated to have caused around 35 million deaths worldwide since they were identified in the early 1980s. This latest breakthrough comes a month after researchers found a new HIV drug that eliminates up to 99% of the virus within four weeks of treatment. The groundbreaking Gamora, G-A-M-M-O-R-A, -M -M drug kills HIV-infected cells in human subjects without harming healthy cells. Okay, so this Gamora drug actually destroys HIV-infected cells without affecting other cells. Like, you know, I know with chemotherapy, it's kind of like just bulldozing everything. So it sounds like this Gamora drug is able to just kill the HIV-infected cells instead of affecting all of the other good cells. So that's um, that's exciting. I'll have to do another video on that. I didn't even know about that. Um, so that's all I know for now. It doesn't look like anything's happening in the near future, but they're on the road and obviously um, everybody's working really hard to find a way to end this virus um, completely and finally someday. So you guys just hang in there. Um, take those antiretrovirals. You know that that's the only option. 
right now and it's a good one and um, we can all live very normal healthy long lives with this medication right now so you know let's be thankful that we've got that and um, we'll just cross our fingers for this in the future but in the meantime we've got really great treatment so let's be thankful for that okay you guys don't forget take your medication every 24 hours I don't care what you have to do to remind yourself set an alarm on your phone that's what I do it works great I take it every day at five o'clock don't skip don't go on a drug holiday. You don't want to become resistant to your medication. And if you do skip by accident, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Try not to do it on a regular basis. Um, we want that medication to be putting drug pressure on the virus so that that virus is suppressed and it's not affecting your immune system. We want to keep your immune system in the best condition it can be. And we don't want HIV running the show because it doesn't need to be. And remember, there's the additional benefit of once you're undetectable, you're not transmittable, okay? So you cannot transmit the virus anymore sexually once you are undetectable. Remember, U equals U. Undetectable equals untransmittable. It's been proven, okay? If if you need any more information about it, go to www.preventionaccess.org um, or the Prevention Access YouTube page for more videos about U equals U. But it's proven. All right. We don't need to go through this anymore. It's proven. Undetectable equals untransmittable. All right, guys. Don't forget I do a Monday vlog video. That will be out tomorrow. Have a great Christmas.